what should I do today? Hmm. Well, let's see. I think I have plenty of time to, uh, I got plenty of time to LP today. Let's play something. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to do a uh, Nightmare Troubadour today. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. So before I make Nightmare Troubadour, I need to make a, a list. Like, yeah, because I think I had a, I had like a, Tastes good. First thing in the morning, man. I think I had like some kind of list going of yeah, like what cards come in what? Oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rewatch because I forgot you know how much I've gone over for what. Yeah, but rewatching's okay. I mean it's okay, it's part of my it's part of my thing, man. I mean sometimes you just gotta do it. If it's been a while or shoot, even if it if I'd recorded the last episode yesterday, I'd still have to review it because I'm just like, yeah, most of them I just talk about random stuff and troubadour. So, man, I kind of want to get some music going here. Uh, what should I pull? Oh, this is a good idea. Yeah, because I made this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Music makes you lose control. Music makes you lose control. What's up? Oh man, my morning's always a little better with some music, man. Oh, man. See, so I'll do the Nightmare Troubadour. Oh yeah, I have all these, uh, I have all these boxes too, so maybe I should... <laughs> man, that, that sounded kind of cool. <laughs> That's so random. I'm just, that video, I'm just like... <clears throat> like Uh, I make myself laugh. Bad. I mean, hey, you have to, man. You, you have to enjoy your life, man. You have to, you have to make yourself laugh sometimes, man. It's like, man, no need being so serious all the time, man. You just like, mm. yeah, no need for that. But uh, anyway, I have this the duels. Genesis special edition. Also have. Uh, oh, let me hang on. Took me a while to. Ooh, I'm moving a little slow this morning because I just. Uh, hmm. Then again, I did just wake up about. Uh, well, I showered and stuff, so and it's still not that long ago. Maybe. Maybe thirty minutes. I don't know. Anyway, we have a legendary collection Kaiba and another legendary collection I could open, which this one is the GX uh, number two, right? Yeah, uh, legendary collection two. The original one had like Exodia, and yeah, so that's the GX one basically. Mm. Flood and mine. Ooh, 14. Get it flood because water. Ha ha ha. <laughs> now, I, I, I do try to drink plenty of water, though. Uh, I think I've told you guys before, but I, I have, right? Well, anyway, I, I work outside. I have an outside job. So, again, I'm not going to say where it's at or what it is, but, you know, yeah, work outside. So, got to drink plenty of water. Even in winter time, man, because I remember we were working in winter time one day, and like you just, I don't know, due to the due to the routine and stuff, you just like all of a sudden I started sweating. I'm like, man, I'm sitting here sweating in winter time. So yeah, that's why you know take some water to work with you, man. I mean, that's <laughs> you gotta look out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not gonna tell you, oh hey, maybe you should walk in there and grab a drink. No. <laughs> You gotta look out for number one, man. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, that's right. I emptied this out yesterday. This is uh, this is usually my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh deck box, or or if I'm playing Pokemon that day, or 
you know what? Since I emptied it out, let's play my other, put my other deck of cards in here. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> See, my fans don't know about about these cards, man. See, let me let me just go through some of these cards real quick. Let me show you. See this right here, Dark Magician. Uh, where's the? Yep, Blue Eyes White Dragon. There you go. And where's the? Where is good old Red Eyes? Oh, I don't have Red Eyes. Shame. Red Eyes would probably be the Ace of Diamonds. And maybe Harpy's Pet Dragon would be Ace of Hearts. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> well, anyways, how you guys doing this morning? Today is July the 5th, 2019. And today... Yeah, that's just kind of an update video for my plans today. Um, I think I had said on a video that the next episode of Nightmare Troubadour will be out... Oh yeah, I thought I would have already had it and posted it. Well, basically, I'm just going to tell the truth to you guys. I've already recorded it. I had thought I had said it would be out Wednesday. Uh, but I just, you know, it was the holidays, July 4th. I kind of just lost track of time, sorry, and just did not post it. So, probably posted about, I don't know, I'll post it today. You know, whenever it gets posted, it gets posted, so... Oh yeah, there might be some, uh, actually, I did make a few small changes as far as the video quality, so there are a few things that need to be processed through YouTube's thingamabobber, but yeah, the truth is, I, I could have posted it yesterday and just, just got on my phone and went to YouTube and went, post, and that would have been it, but it would have been kind of, kind of raw, and, nah, I want it to be a little, the return of Nightmare Troubadour has to be grand, man, has to be... That's to be cool. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I'll get to that today. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> who, who knows, man? I, I might get busy again today. It's, it's been a crazy, you know, kind of holiday period, man. So, uh, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but I think right now, let's see. Well, I'm already in the studio, aren't I? Yeah, I'm in the Flood Mod 14 studio. So, maybe for now, nice, playing a little bleach music. Hmm. Uh, what do you guys think? I think we should open some packs. That sounds good. So, I'm going to start setting things up at the table over there. And, um, is this going to be a part two? Am I going to cut? No, oh, screw it, screw it. We'll leave it in, we'll leave it in. And I'll just, like, kind of vlog for a while while I arrange the room. Yeah, that sounds good, actually. Yeah, let me vlog for a while. So I've, I've, I've thought about vlogging a little more than, you know, I normally do, but uh, yeah, vlogging's always been kind of... I don't know, I don't know if it's something... Because I actually... I, I find the vlogging I do to be very healthy, but I'm not sure if it's like one of these things that maybe I should put it on private. Or maybe I should just be brave and just, yeah, I'm going to throw it out there and, hey, you know, you guys like it, like it if it only gets one view, hey, that's <laughs> honestly it makes me feel a little better because then I'm just like, oh man, all these, all my friends don't know my real secrets. Shh, 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 don't, don't tell them I have to. You know, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let me get some things set up here. Really like the piano on the song, by the way. Um, let me see. Oh, I might need my phone, actually. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Need a chair, I suppose. Actually, need to move this box right here and... Okay. Well, anyway, vlogging, vlogging, vlogging. Uh, what have I been up to lately? Um, well, yesterday I kind of just, uh, I spent some time outside having fun. Uh, now, overall lately about, now this was about like three weeks ago. Um, I don't know, I started to, um, 
three about three weeks ago, uh, I just suddenly had the motivation to um, go play basketball, which I mean that was pretty shocking. I know. I, <laughs> believe me, I'm living my life. That was shocking to me. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just, I, I felt the urge to, uh, surge, so to speak, and to throw down, and, yeah, so I, I went and did it, man, and, uh, pretty fun. I mean, now, like, when I haven't played ball in a while, what I usually do is just kind of, I shoot, like, as many free throws as possible, and just kind of, you know what I mean, just, just kind of count for fun and see how many I can make, but, uh, there were actually some, like, kind of smaller kids there. And, uh, yeah, next thing I know, Diego was there. He showed up. Uh, he, he walked up there randomly and was just like, oh, what are you doing here? And, you know, next thing I know, he's shooting. So, you know, and that, that's usually how going to the park is. You know, usually, well, I don't know about you guys, but for me, like, most of the time I'll have a frame of mind, like, okay, I'm going to go there by myself. I'm not going to say anything to anybody. <laughs> I mean, because that's just my mentality. Like, you know, I haven't played in a while. Like, I'm going to ignore everybody because, you know, they're going to be like, boo, boo, what are you doing here? Like that. You know, or they're going to be like, oh, hey, man, how's it going? You know, been a while since I've seen you. I'm like, no, I'm focused. I'm going to I'm gonna ignore everybody. Just get my free throws. Focus. I'm going to calm down. I mean, that's what you got to do for free throws. Got to calm down. And practice my form. And I'm gonna shoot like like a hundred of these, and that'll be it. Once once I'm done shooting a hundred, I'll go home. I'll go home. So, but then like like I said, people, these kids, you know, they were like, "Oh, you wanna play?" I'm just like, "Ah, eh, no," you know. <laughs> but then Diego showed up. I was like, "Okay, now see, this could be fair because we got, you know, two like maybe seven year olds, and then we got, you know, two adults." So I was like, "Okay, now I'll play." You know, be two on two. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was, I mean, that's it, it basically it. I mean, we lost. We we got destroyed, you know. If you want to know the final score, it was like, at first we were like, okay, we're going to play 21. And then Diego and I, we didn't play so good. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, the kids basically scored all the points. <laughs> so I only had like two points. Diego had probably about eight points, and that's not good. Last summer we were at the point where you know we could basically walk on the court and score. I could score about twenty-one in a game if I needed to. And Diego could score about you know forty. I mean that kid. You know if you just played a hundred, that kid would be in the zone. So. Yeah, long story short, you know, we're both kind of, which, I mean, I guess it's not a bad thing, it's just like, yeah, we're both kind of out of basketball shape, and that's, that's, that's fine, what was that, um, that's, that's fine, you know, it's just that you have to know, like, okay, you know, you have to know, hey, if I'm out of basketball shape, you know, unless some kind of miracle happens, I'm probably gonna, you know, <laughs> not do as good. But what's funny is I went there with that mentality, you know, and out into that game. And the way – and, man, my shot was so off, man. I couldn't couldn't calm down. I couldn't, like, focus and be like, you know, just play like it's any other day. But what finally got me to make my first shot was um, – it wasn't even the position because I shot it at a very – I'm not a good long-range shooter. And so I wasn't even, like, getting the rebound and putting it back in. That's – that's my shot. It's just like, okay, wait close to the basket and, you know, just outside the free throw line. Get the rebound, chase it down, put it back, shoot it back. That's my kind of game. Uh, and post up. I'm pretty good at posting a defender up. You know, where you just kind of back in and you're just like, you know, you know, so. And then turn around, hook shot. That's that's my shot. But, um, yeah, my post game was off, too. It was like, that was... I tried probably about seven post shots, and I didn't make any, which I was really shocked. Uh, but I guess, like I said, it's just out of arm strength, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, rusty, rusty, man. So, But what finally got my first shot mm, 
I finally got my first shot is, uh, you know, because we weren't using, that's the other thing too, is playing style, because I wasn't expecting to play with like, you know, play in a basketball game with these kids, and that was kind of throwing me off a little bit, not that they were better than me necessarily, but it's just like, I don't know, if you have friends, you know what I'm saying, you learn each other's spots, you're like, okay, this guy's going to dribble it up the court like always. We're going to cross each other. I'm going to scream for him. He's going to scream for me. You know what I mean? You just kind of learn. You basically start creating your own plays just kind of off the fly, you know, if you know each other. Uh, but Diego and I weren't on the same team, so we couldn't, like, run those plays. Does that make sense? And I wasn't sure the kid would, you know, understand. And he didn't because I started to run some of the same plays. Uh, he got, like, one play where I basically screened Diego, <laughs> which was fun. I screened Diego off of him, but uh, and I was just like, why are you guarding him anyways? He's, he's, he's seven, man. Like, what are you? <laughs> he's like, sir. <laughs> he was like, sir, he has, like, 20 points. <laughs> All right. He's on fire. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I, I kind of understood his logic there. But, uh, yeah, I screened Diego off of him, and he still scored. I was just like, yeah, that's right. He's going to stay on fire. <laughs> Uh, that's another thing I like about basketball, man. You just give each other the business, man, you know. Let off some steam, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And it's funny, man. The kids, uh, the kids were kind of jawing each other, too. It's like, man, man, some of these things these kids were saying to each other, it's just like, it's just like, all right, so the kid who's on my team, right, he was like facing up the guy on the other team. He's just like, yo, dog, you ain't. You ain't gonna do nothing. And she's like, that's why you ain't got no girlfriend. I'm just like, dog. I'm like, yeah, let's see kids join each other. She's like, yeah, you ain't got no girlfriend. You ain't ki you ain't even kissed nobody yet. So, so, I'm just like, yo. I'm like, man, this kid looks like he's in first grade. And he's talking about like, well, that's why I kissed the girl and you have it. I'm like, man, dog. He's like, he talking about hand holding and whatnot. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, next level, next level. He's like, you know what? Even if you do get a girlfriend. I'm going to be the first one to hug her. Then I'm going to grab her hand and walk her home. I'm just, I'm just like, my dog, man. I'm, I'm just like, Diego, you hear this? He's like, you. Yeah. Like, man, these kids. is I'm like, they're just like us, man. They're giving each other the business. Like, mm. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Very crazy. But, yeah. I don't know. Playing sports is very... Uh, therapeutic in some ways I mean you know you could make um you could make long-term friends but what I like probably most about sports is that you can make short-term friends very easily you know what I mean because let's say five strangers go to a basketball court and they start picking for teams somebody's gonna be left out right because I mean five it's not even I mean but if they let the odd man out play, those are some pretty good people overall, in my opinion. Because, like, I mean, that's a bad feeling. We've all been there, you know. And it doesn't have to be basketball. It, that, I mean, this applies to day everything, you know what I'm saying? We've all been there where, like, I don't know, something's happening. And, you know, everyone's – it seems like everyone's involved. It seems like it, you know what I mean? Everyone's in the same room, but everyone's not involved as a group, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe you don't know what I mean. I, I think some of you know what I mean, though. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, you may want to practice what I mean and just isolate yourself at an event. Just, just randomly, just be like, disappear for like. You're at a big event, right? All right. Let's say you're very popular. Let's say you about twenty people know you, and you're all. Just go off in a corner somewhere and isolate yourself for about 20 minutes and see what happens. Once you go, once one person in the group finds you, they'll, they'll be like, oh, are you okay? What happened? We, we were worried about you. We were all looking for you. It's like, yeah. But, uh, I mean, that's kind of on the right track. I mean, that's still not quite what it feels like, but I think you all know where I, what I mean by that. It's just like, you know. And then after you isolate yourself for that 20 minutes and your friend checks on you, just be like, I'm okay, go back over there. And okay, they'll be like, okay. And then once they go back over there, find like someone who's, you know, sit 
by themselves, you know, sitting eating cake at the table or whatever. Just go sit next to them and be like, you know, just kind of kind of do like that, kind of roll your eyes, just like, ah, I just want to blow this hellhole, you know, say say something like that, and they'll be like, and most likely they'll be like, hey, me too, me too, do not want to be here, you know. I mean, sometimes you got to be somewhere and you don't want to be there, you know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking like most common places are school, work, and family functions, I'm going to say. Yeah, family functions. Like, you know, your, drag will drag, your dad will drag you to the... That could even be like appointments. Yeah, your dad will drag you to the dentist and you're just like... Oh, I guess, you know, being here with all these other people first thing in the morning. Or, you know... Or, oh, yeah, or, or of course, you know... Family will drag you to like church or something. You're just like, yeah, you know. It's like, okay, you know, this is awkward, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I think we're just about ready for the opening. Whoa, I'm dragging on the on the table cover. Anyway, I'm gonna move you guys. Oh, I guess I could unplug the laptop. Yeah, definitely good. There we go. Okay. Are you guys looking at the wall of... Yes, we are. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. I think we're about in the right spots. Yeah, well, there's a little darkness. It's kind of why I wanted my phone. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to try opening the window. That should help. There's plenty of sunlight. Yeah. Well, actually, it's a little cloudy outside today. Let me see if that helps the lights. Yeah, it really does. Okay. Oh, but since that did that, I need to sit way over there. That's what needs to happen. Yeah, I need to sit way over here. That way, I don't. I don't cause an eclipse, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to open this, the Legendary Collection 2, and we're going to open this, the Kyber Collection. So. There we go. Da, da, da. And I need some more Agua before we do. So I'm going to get some Agua. You're back. You guys take a 30 minute stretch break. Stretch those muscles. Hmm. Really liking this new uh, laptop. I think it's going to work out overall because, uh, yeah, yesterday I recorded um, an episode of Ghouls of the Roses. And, of course, it was a long, I was able to do a longer video than on my phone. Well, obviously, I mean, <laughs> just the uh, drive space alone is uh, pretty nice. Uh-oh, we have an ad. Better, better close this tab right here. I do not want to get a copyright shirt. Oh boy. Okay, time to open this. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Ah, that's good. Um, you know what? We're gonna. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Wow, that that I should do that. We're gonna play Dawn of Destiny Part One. Because it's it's straight up music, right? I think, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, it should have some music here. Yeah, that ought to work. Okay. So plenty of light. Um, everybody ready? You ready? You want to see some cards? I want to see some cards. 
Let's do it. Okay, so Legendary Collection Kaiba will be first. Set to freaking Kaiba. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Exodia obliterates. Mind Crush. So, I'm gonna place the pad. Oh, wait, what? Wait. Uh, apparently, this box has already been opened. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, my fault. Um, I guess we actually won't be opening this box because that's right. One, um, yeah, one, uh, I just, um, let Diego have it. So, um, well, you know, no, 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 you know what? This isn't a waste of time. I can still go over the cards with you guys that he opened. And so there's the mat, as always. And I, I love this side probably the most with the, uh, yeah, what is, is that the Doom Virus Dragon? Well, it's one of the Critius fusions, I know that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Look at that. Got the KC logo. This side's also pretty cool. You know, got this has the new sides, new uh, cards in here. You know, Loop of Destruction, right? Got us a Sweet Revenge and King of D? Is that right? I think that's right. Uh, anyways, yeah, these were, these cost only about uh, the Legendary Collection Kaiba. I actually got a special because I think I showed all the boxes in one video. And basically, since I bought, uh, I basically ended their stock is what I did. And since I emptied their stock, I got $5 off on each. So they were only $15 each, which is, that's a good price. That's a good price. But uh, to review some of the cards we got, I know I didn't technically open this, but Turn of the Dragon Lords, Flute of Summoning Dragon, Dragon Revival Rhapsody. Wait, is that right? Did I? Yeah, I, I can read backwards. Sage with Eyes of Blue. <laughs> oh, no, Master with Eyes of Blue. I'm sorry. Some of this is just pure memorization. Uh, Dragunity Phalanx. <laughs> this is a bit different doing it on my laptop. It's okay, though. Why not Storm Forth, right? Yeah, look at that. That is a sweet looking card, man. Uh, XY is that the Dragon Cannon? Hype Better Devastation. Rider of the Storm wins. Pretty good tuner. And Sage with Eyes of Blue. Probably one of the better cards out of those. I think that was the first pack. I don't know. These are separated into different piles. So, I don't know. Some of these may just be the best cards. Some of them may be the promos. I don't know. Just going to show you what's in the box. And, yeah, it is King of D. Yeah. So, we get King of D. Which, was this the promo? No, no, no. I think I just opened that. Yeah. And we get Destruction Dragon. Yeah, that's what it's called on the cover. Destruction Dragon, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another DRR. <laughs> Dragon Revival Rhapsody. I almost said D-O-R. Duelist of the Roses. Dragunity Docks. Pretty good. Wait, can you even read this card? Let me see. Oh, it's actually backwards. Well, that is interesting. Bit of a problem, but... uh. Eh, nah, it's not really a problem because I I tend to explain things really so, uh yeah, I tend to explain most of the cards so maybe it's a good thing it's backward. Master with the eyes of blue, and I guess you could always just reverse the video. Yeah, yeah, there's there's ways to fix it. Zetto metal caterpillar, but yeah, can you actually see the uh yeah I guess okay, yeah it has the focus focus chief come on. Sunda Dragon. Pretty cool. <laughs> and XYZ Dragon Cannon. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So did we get two XYZs? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Here's the other one. So definitely one of my more favorite fusions, that's for sure. So Alright. Okay, and right about now, I think I want to change the song. Change the song, DJ. Um, so let's actually let's play this theme. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of you may be like, "What? I haven't heard this before." But yeah, should be pretty good. Here we go.
Yeah, I think this is the right way, is it? That's, yeah, yeah, this is the right thing. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Definitely has some um, good vibes in it. Similar vibes to the show. Like, listen to that. Yeah, it definitely fits, man. <sighs> Makes me smile, man. That's good stuff. Uh, should I turn the volume up? Mm, yeah, it does have a, kind of a low set point. Yeah, let's see. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. There we go. All right, back to the video. <laughs> they play that transition in the subs all the time. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Uh, but anyway, we have Azurais, Silver Dragon, VW Tiger, Catapult. So that's good. I'm going to put that with the Fusion Pile. Virus Cannon. Pretty good. Destroys uh, spells and traps. Oh no, just spells. Equal to the number of tributes that you do and it's optional so Dragunity Legionnaire Protector with eyes I, I've, I've always thought Protector was kind of eh, you know not so good but B Buster Drake <laughs> fuses with A B and C I'm sure you guys know interdimensional matter transporter probably doesn't see much play these days uh, and goddess of sweet revenge promo card of course and Majesty with Eyes of Blue. Pretty good. Get to send the blue eyes from your deck to the graveyard and permanently prevent a monster from attacking. Yeah, that you, that you target. So, All right. And the last few cards that Diego got was Mirror Force. Pretty good. Uh, is that Twin Burst Dragon? Wow, dude, it is. Yeah, so he got Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. I think this is still a pretty valuable card. Probably about... Yeah. Fifth, ten dollars or so. Blue Eyes Ultimate. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> this is only my second copy, or uh, well, I guess technically not mine. But hey, we have a second copy now, and that old, that other one, man, it is old and it's been used. You can tell. Delinquent Duo. Been a while since I've had this card. Um, once it got banned, I kind of traded it away, but for some better cards. But anyway, another is Arise. Okay, so this is like the. The kind of good stuff. <laughs> Doom Virus Dragon. And, uh, let's see. And, wait, is that Thunderbolt? Raigeki? Yeah, yeah, it is. Wow. that Now, that's a valuable card right there. Yeah, Raigeki probably goes for, uh, of course, I'm sure you know, destroys all monsters your opponent controls. Um, sh I think Raigeki goes for about... Mm, yeah, it doesn't really matter what set it's from. It's just so many people are playing it. So Raigeki right now goes for about, well, of course, if you have the original, first edition, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But, uh, yeah, that one probably, yeah, for about 15 bucks, maybe tw maybe 25 on the high end, you know. But, uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. So not a bad opening, Diego. Not bad at all. Got some good cards. Got, like, Raigeki, Mirror Force, some... And you get the blue eyes twin burst. I think I think that's that's probably one of the better ones that he opened. So yeah, that's just I guess a review of cards Diego got. So all right, and now for our openings. Um, actually, I'm gonna change my mind really quick. Um. We're going to save this one for a different video. Yeah, the Legendary Collection 2. And I'm going to open the... I'm going to grab another Legendary Collection for myself. Open that. That's right. I changed my mind. That's right, folks. Well, if you don't like it, um... Deal. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Uh, if you don't like it, leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment and tell me, hey, I really want to see that red box, man. <laughs> Alright, get a centered box opening tool right here. Uh-oh, we got a... We got an ad, man. Whoa, okay. There we go. Yeah, that was almost bad, so... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh... 
<laughs> this ought to be pretty good to open to, especially for me. Here we go. Yeah, this ought to be a while. Alright, there we go. And let's see. There we go. Oh, I think that angle's a little better, actually. Huh. Wait, wait, wait a second. Oh, yeah. I kind of freed up some of the sound, too. I'm going to have to remember to do that. When I record on this laptop, kind of angle it up just a little bit. Well, put a little something right here. That's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah, I feel like the sound is a lot freer now. Do 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 blah 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 Having fun. Gotta have fun. Gotta have fun. Got to have fun. Alright, so we got the usual promo cards. Not really gonna go over them, but you guys know what they do by now, I believe. Loop, DRR, uh, Destruction Dragon, uh, King of D, and Goddess of Sweets, Revenge. The main thing I look for on the promos is like, uh, misprints, or, yeah, yeah, or just kinda cutting errors, but, uh, yeah, these look pretty good though. So there we go. And let's take these uh, take these three packs out now. There we go. That way I can place the cards we do win in here. We do win. I mean, no one's already open. That's what I mean. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're having a good morning this morning. Got to vlog there for about thirty minutes. Finished waking up, basically. <laughs> That's basically. That's basically what I was doing there when I'm vlogging. I'm just like, man, I'm still kind of, still kind of barely waking up, you know. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. And the first pack will be, uh, is that uh, trade in? I think it is trade in. Yep. Yeah, discard one card. That's level eight. Draw two cards. Yep. So pretty good card. Uh, cards of consonants, I believe. Discard a tuner, a dragon type tuner, or is it just a tuner? Nope, yeah, discard one dragon tuner with a thousand or less. Draw two cards. Pretty good. Next we have, is that a ghost reaper and winter cherries? I think so. Yeah, yeah. And this is a hand trap. Uh, this is one for the extra deck, right? And just soon to you. Okay, hang on, I gotta... I got I gotta read this real quick. My audience needs to know. Well, actually, I need to know. Um, so, yeah, Winter Cherries. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, quick effect, and discard this card, reveal one card in your extra deck, look at your opponent's extra deck, also banish all cards in their extra deck with the same name. Oh, I see. Well, okay, there's several things this does. Number one, you get to look at your opponent's extra deck. So even if you don't, you know, find a target to banish, you still know, oh, hey, I'm playing against, you know, just a Stardust Dragon deck. You know, that's the main focus. They have, like, Stardust Dragon, Shooting Stardust, you know, uh, Quasar. Like, that's the main focus. Um... Or you know, hey, they have Thousand Eyes restricted here. That's strange. Maybe I should watch out for that. You know, you know. Um, but yeah, of course, this will help you, especially in a tournament format, because then on the second match, you know, oh, hey, they have three copies of Nightmare Phoenix. If I just declare Nightmare Phoenix, then bye bye you know <laughs> and, and then you know also in like the second duel of the match you could 
if you use this, you could know, hey, oh, this is the new Link monster that really kind of ruined my party. But now I know its name and what it does, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Even though it's only one copy in there, I'm going to get rid of it. So, yeah, pretty good card. Pretty good hand trap. Uh, next cards. Oh, what happened to the music, man? Turn up the volume. Dance. Dance. Uh, here's the music. There we go. All right, there we go. And we have Master with Eyes of Blue. What else? Is that Castle of Dragon Souls? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, Castle of Dragon Souls. Okay. We have Fusion Sage. Let's just search for a polymerization. And do we did we get Twin Burst? I think so. Yeah, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Yes. Yeah, haha, <laughs> Diego. Now I have one too. Uh, fusion of Blue Eyes White Dragon and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Must either be fusion summoned or special summoned by um, sending the above monsters you control in the graveyard, which is pretty good. Um, cannot be destroyed by battle. This card makes up to two attacks on monsters each battle phase. At the end of the damage step, when this card attacks an opponent's monster, but the opponent's monster was not destroyed by that battle, you can banish the monster. Very good. Very good card, man. So there we go. Twin Burst Dragon. Yeah. Heck yeah. And we got uh, Giant Ape. Just Desserts. Uh, this card inflicts 500 damage for... I believe it's for each monster your opponent has on their field, I think. Uh, right? Yeah. So. Uh, oh! What's funny is, with the new extra deck rules, Just Desserts can now do 3,000 instead of 2,500. Yeah, yeah. Think about that. Yeah. If they had put the original uh, effects of the Seal of Aura Calclose, it could have done up to 5,500 damage. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they should have kept that, because that's pretty cool. Uh, we have Enemy Controller. <laughs> Pretty good. You can either steal a monster or change a monster's position. And we got... Wait, what? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about Legendary Collection Kaiba is that they also include the promo cards as regular cards. I'm just like... Now, if... I would have been okay if... Let's say... Let's say... Yeah, the cards that they include as promos are regular cards. I would have been okay if those were like ultimate rares. You know what I mean? Ultimate rare... Goddess, Ultimate Rare, Destruction. I would have been okay with that, but including them as the same rarity, basically, that's, um, I'm not sure they should have done that. Most, most of the things about the set, pretty good, you know, I'm, I'm good with it, but that, yeah, that's never really sat right with me, so. But yeah, like I said, whenever they do another, I think they figured out a good formula. Uh, but that's just the one. It's just a minor, you know, yeah, thing. Because most of the time, you're not going to pull the uh, promos or the singles that are the same as the promos. Normally, that's not going to happen. But when it does, it's just like, oh, man. <laughs> basically, it, it feels like I lost a card, basically. But anyway, <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Pretty good. Can't really see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I gotta bring it a little closer here. Azure eyes. And there we go. Yeah. I gotta hold it like right in front of my face. That's a weird thing. Blue eyes white dragon. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Oh man. I can't believe I didn't. Usually I have that memorized pretty good, but. Not today. Soul Exchange. <laughs> there we go. What's next? Uh, what is that? Is that Doom Virus Dragon? I believe so. Yeah, Doom Virus Dragon. We got Ring of Defense. There we go. And we got DD Crow. Nice, DD Crow. DD Crow seeing a lot of play uh, lately. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, there we go. But, um, DD Crow, to quick effect, uh, Wing Beast, 100, 100. Uh, you can discard this card and target a card in your opponent's graveyard and banish it. 
Um, because this is a quick effect, you can chain this to like, now let's come up with a simple ex example, Monster Reborn, and just, you know, and then basically their target, their effect misses and basically fizzles, so, and we got another Thunder Dragon, that's good. Now we can make Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, <laughs> and a nice, one of the better cards in the set we got there, Melody of Awakening Dragon. And what this card does is uh, throw a card away, discard a card, add up to two dragon monsters with 3,000 or more attack and 2,500 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Pretty good card. Pretty good. Oh, and we got a blue eyes ultimate too. Ha! Take that, Diego. You're not the only one with the blue eyes ultimate dragon. <laughs> Now give me your money, old man. I need to buy more trading cards. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Couldn't do that with a straight face. <laughs> Don't make me take you to 1485 and pull out my old blue eyes white armor. No, but, uh, no, wait. Kaiba didn't actually bring us to 1485, did he? No, in Dulce of the Roses, uh, Simon's the one who... Like, summoned you, right? So he's the one who dragged you out of bed. Kaiba, Kaiba's just like, oh, well, you're here now. And let me offer you a solution. <laughs> just like, yeah. Who was desperate enough to summon you in the first place? Yeah, that's what he says, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's a good point. Uh, let's see. So that's done. I'm going to change the song. Change the record. Oh, yeah, that's what I was playing. <laughs> Yeah, this one's a little louder. There we go. That'd be good. Uh, sorry, sorry. Next pack, last pack, last pack of the video. So, yeah, Fiend Sanctuary. That's good. That's good. I kind of wanted a play set of those. Oh, we got the movie promo, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Um, I mean, you sacrifice Ultimate for it, and it's not. Um, it was good. Uh, it was okay at the time. Um, this card was definitely a lot better back then than it is now. Um, but anyway, I'll read it. Cannot be normal summoner set. Must be special summoned from your hand by attributing one blue eyes ultimate dragon. Gains 300 for each dragon in your graveyard. When a card or effect that is activated that targets this card, quick effect, you can negate this effect. Um... Yeah, overall, it's it's okay, you know what I mean? Reminds me a little of Red-Eyes Darkness Dragon. Um, but what, I, I don't know. One thing I think that would make that card better is... Now, I don't know if it'll ever get a retrain, so to speak. Like, a kind of a new version of itself. Or if that's just a one-time thing. But if it does, one thing that I think would make it better is like... Effects these days in monsters would be like, okay, banish one blue eyes ultimate dragon from your extra deck and pay a thousand life points. Special summon this card. Like, that would be it. And then it would have maybe the same effects for 300 each in the graveyard. That's fine. And then it would have that quick effect to protect itself. And then it may have like a destruction effect to float into. And by float, I mean like, oh, if this card's destroyed. Special summon three blue eyes white dragons from your hand deck and graveyard. Something like that. Or something like, oh, if this card is destroyed, destroy one of your opponent's monsters with 3,000 or less attack. And if you do, um, they take the damage of their monster's points. Yeah, see, something like that. I mean, that's all it would take is just a couple different things on the effects. Kaiba Man. <laughs> You can send this card to summon a blue eyes from your hand, right? Yeah, tribute. Special summon one blue eyes. Pretty straightforward. Kaiba Man is like, man, that, that suit is epic, though. We have Virus Cannon, so. Good. Uh, nice, another virus card. Deck Devastation Virus. Now, this is the one with 2,000 or less, right? No, 2,000 or more, okay. So, if you tribute a, a really powerful dark monster then this one will um, let you thin out the herd, the weaker cards. So this is actually pretty effective against, like, hand traps and, um, yeah, 
really effective against hand traps because most of them have zero. And also what I like about this is that unlike Crush Card Virus, which got wrecked with the with the errata, Deck Devastation, you still check the cards your opponent draws. So that's that I do like. I, I like that part of it quite a bit. So and yeah. And not only that, you get to see what's in your opponent's hand, and that way you know, oh okay, they set down a a mirror force. Okay. Maybe I should, you know, uh, summon a leak monster that can negate traps and you know, I'll, I'll be fine. So, there we go. And we have another XYZ Dream Cannon. That's cool. And we have, whoops, I almost skipped a card. We have, oh, nice. And that's probably the most valuable card in the set. We pulled an Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Uh, I'm sure you guys know what this card does by now. Pretty popular hand trap. And it's probably about, I'm going to say a 40, maybe $32 card. Pretty good card. So basically made our money back on that card. <laughs> nice. And I'll probably, uh, you know, sell that on eBay or something. Uh, Dragon Spirit of White. Probably sell it on TCG Player. And we have Dragon Ravine. Uh, this card used to be quite a lot better when Super Rejuvenation wasn't banned. But now that Super Rejuvenation is banned, it's just like, yeah... Ah, oh, those were the good old days, man. You had Red Eyes, Black, uh, Darkness Metal Dragon, and Dragon Ravine, and the Dragon Rulers, and oh, man. Fun time, fun time. Yeah, that was a fun format to play in, but, uh, uh, let me give a, well, not a full recap, but let me give some highlights real quick. Uh, definitely Ash Blossom. <laughs> yeah, that, that's gotta be a highlight. Um, other highlights. Not much from the right side. Uh, uh, Dragon Spirit of White, he's he's I, you know, he still sees some plays, so those blue eyes decks. Uh Deck Devastation Virus for me, definitely. I mean, it's not a lot of people don't I guess don't think about Deck Devastation Virus, but yeah, it's just like Ash Blossom, it has zero and it can be pretty annoying. So I mean the fact that you don't really have to worry about any hand traps for that turn plus you know, probably about three more turns. That's kind of nice. So, Deck Devastation Virus, probably the more hand traps we get, the more play it's going to see. So, that's a good card. Uh, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Pretty good. And what else for highlights? Oh, yeah. Uh, Ghost Reaper Winter Cherries. Very good card. Yep, get rid of those extra deck cards. Uh, also, Trade In. Trade In's pretty valuable. Uh, I would say trade in is probably about I would say a seven dollar card. Yeah, it used to be even higher, but got reprinted quite a few times. So uh, anything else? Oh yeah, melody of course, the melody of Awakening Dragon. Still a pretty high price card, so that's that's a highlight definitely. And DD Crow, yeah, DD Crow, yeah, <laughs> DD Crow, pretty good, pretty good. Yep. Alright, well that's going to be it guys for this video. Uh, thanks for joining me and listening to the vlog to start. Um, feel free to, you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you're thinking, how you like it. Uh, let me know, oh hey, I can't really hear you, the music is too loud. Or, hey man, this place is rocking, it's like it's like going to an anime club or something. <laughs> An anime club. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Oh man, we don't have those here, but uh, man, that would be pretty chill. You just go to a club and, or a, you just walk into a place like, it looks like a club outside, but you just walk in and there's all this like anime stuff and they're playing like songs like this, like an OST from Inuyasha or something. Oh man, that'd, that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, we're gonna just do that and I'm gonna wave. There we go. I think you can see mostly things. Yeah. Yeah. Got Ash Blossom right there. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks for listening and watching. Feel free to subscribe to Floodmon 14. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. I summon Blue Eye Squid vs. Dragon. Yugi. 
Stop preaching to me about the heart of the cards, Yugi. I'm never going to believe you. I'm sent to freaking Kaiba. All that stuff about friendship is meaningless, Yugi. You and I both know only the strength of the blue eyes white dragon is what matters. Man, he sounded so PO'd. <laughs> like the like the last episode. <laughs> When when Kaiba was facing Yugi on the uh, in Battle City, man, I mean, I know they played the sixth part of it. That last episode, he sounded he old man. I was just like, whoa, man, whoa. Maybe you need to make yourself laugh a little, Kaiba. <laughs> just like you're being a little creepy, man. Ah, post credits, persistence. Post credits. Uh, we're not gonna make this post credits too long. Oh. That guitar is sick, bro. It's just like... I can't even do guitar riff. But that guitar is sick, bro. Heck yeah. Got a little fade going. Mm, I gotta work on my uh, escalation. Yeah, my ascension. Yeah. Not very good. Kill. Dude, I just I just beatbox that Koga key. I was like Koga key. Koga. Oh man. Oh yeah, what do I have going on? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna check the calendar real quick. Um, so tomorrow's the seventh. I think I'm supposed to do something tomorrow. Oh yeah, tomorrow I'm supposed to call my friend and um. Wait, is it tomorrow? I think she says something's going on. Like they're supposed to meet up and just. I think the group's supposed to meet up and talk about. Oh, okay. Talk about stuff. Yeah, talk about stuff. So, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Gage. <laughs> I'm like, hands that makes it sound like I'm about to start doing combos on a punching bag right here. Just be like, <laughs> like. Uh, I really should get a punching bag right here. That'd be pretty fun, honestly. That way I could just kind of... <laughs> that way I could do an extended cut of this and just be like... <laughs> man, that'd be crazy, man. That'd be crazy if I just got... Not not a big punching bag, just, just, a, just a small one and just kind of... Man, that's, that's actually a good idea. I'd probably use that a lot. A lot. Not that I'm like a violent person or anything. It's just like, it's just the uh, probably my favorite exercise in the gym. Yeah, you just go up to a punching mag and you just start be like, you know, you just start practicing. You know, work on your footwork too a little bit while you're at it. Like, yeah. Uh, what else was I gonna post credits? Oh yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Better get some breakfast. Shout out to any fans in the audience who are hungry. <laughs> Hope you guys aren't hungry, man. Yeah, what he said. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome.
That's right. I'm going to just let, let my videos start outroing for each other. <laughs> How lazy would that be? <laughs> I mean, the definition of lazy is like, yeah, we're going to end every video with like the last 25 seconds of attack the basket. <laughs>